my name is vasant kumar uh, i am from uh, natramballi of tirupattur district of tamil nadu so i have done my undergraduation in bsc agriculture and at tnau constituent college anvil dharmalingam agricultural college and research institute trichirapalli adsc narai so uh, i have recently secured all india rank 14th in icr pg uh, social sciences group so now i have got admission in uh, icr ndri for uh, the course of agricultural uh, extension i started preparing for my pg uh, right from uh, my rave days uh, during my rave i collected the books from my college library and also some uh, soft copies from uh, this is from my seniors so there were two seniors who played icr and uh, they are currently pursuing msc agriculture economics in uh, us bangalore so i took the guidance of them and uh, i started preparing from my rave days i think two uh, two months is enough to uh, clear uh, icr uh, pg examination and i took uh, social sciences and that to extension because i wanted to prepare for uh, further competitive examinations related to agriculture so i thought that this would have uh, more free time so that i can prepare for my exams well and i also wanted pg as a backup sir for icr pg social sciences uh, there are uh, three subjects uh, that needs to be studied it is economics extension and agriculture statistics and along with that you need to study general agriculture also for agricultural economics i referred to the book of uh, agricultural economics by subareddy and uh, i practiced the questions in uh, objective agricultural economics by nirmal ravi kumar for economics and uh, for extension uh, i referred the book of extension communication management by g l ray and for statistics i referred uh, tnau notes and uh, and for overall revision of uh, agricultural economics extension and statistics i referred to the book called introduction to agricultural social sciences by um, subhas chandra and for general agriculture uh, i referred uh, nimra chandra book and uh, uh, arun katyayan book for uh, nimra chandra for general agriculture and i practiced the questions uh, of uh, of general agriculture from um, sr kantwa objective agriculture objective agriculture sr kantwa book um, that's all was my uh, book list for mock tests i practiced the previous year question papers and uh, i took a course uh, attended the mock tests and self analyzed uh, the mistakes we, during my rave uh, it, we, the rave program used to start at 9 in the morning and end up at 1 or 2 in the afternoon so after my rave program i used to uh, have some rest and i used to begin my depression during my evening and it would go up to midnight i used to study at least 5 to 6 hours per day um, and uh, coming to agricultural social sciences the syllabus is more in uh, agricultural economics compared to extension so weekly uh, four days i would give for agricultural economics and one day i would give for extension and the rest two days for general agriculture and practicing the uh, questions and uh, during my last 10 to 15 days of the examination i stopped studying whatever uh, i stopped studying new things and i revised whatever i have studied uh, earlier and i continuously attended mock tests and practiced previous year question papers which uh, reduced the errors and enhanced my enhanced the subject uh, knowledge uh, the campus which i am studying that is icr ndri is uh, was one of the prestigious institutes of icri uh, it stands uh, second after uh, iri uh, in nir of uh, ranking in agricultural universities so the hostel facilities in uh, ndri is pretty good uh, the food that you get here is uh, mostly north indian food mostly north indian food and uh, weekly two days you get uh, dosa here rest all you get only chapatis and rice over here and uh, coming on to the research facilities are really good the staffs here are very much uh, talented and i get to learn new things in ndri so being a dairy institute and i am an agricultural graduate i come here and i have learned many new things uh, related to dairy and uh, cattle productions milk milk and everything and also uh, ndri has uh, a library which is open 24/7 per students can uh, visit the library any time they want 24/7 by 7 and uh, utilize it uh, properly and uh, the fees of this place is uh, this ndra is uh, around 57200 per year this will be half for the hostel and college fees and mess will comes uh, mess will comes around to be 3500 uh, per month uh, in ndra uh, the seniors are uh, very friendly 
and uh, you can see uh, seniors from all over india uh, and uh, there are around 10 to 12 people from uh, tamil nadu itself and there are also people from karnataka andhra kerala uttar pradesh bihar and even northeastern states so many alumni of uh, this ndri campus are in greater heights they are they are, they are working in nabad and uh, many dairy companies like amul nestle etc uh, ndri has a good alumni network and uh, coming on to my division that is agricultural extension division uh, you get lot of uh, free time compared to uh, other division so if anybody is preparing for any competitive exams uh, coming and joining uh, masters course in ndri and preparing for uh, competitive exams it would be a very good uh, choice here and uh, compare and ndri also has a facility of uh, changing your campus uh, in the second year for research work you can opt to srs that is southern regional station bangalore or ers eastern regional station at kalyani near kolkata depending on the requirement every every from my department there are at least two through two to three seats of two uh, bangalore and uh, one seat to uh, kalyani kolkata so i i think no other uh, institute offers this uh, this facility so those people who feel homesick and uh, have problem with this climate uh, this cold weather can shift to bangalore or kolkata